Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Muriel here. Hey, I wanted to come on and show you guys these Christmas embellishments I made. I was watching Crafting with Lillier and she, of course, makes some of the most fascinating, um, the creativity just, you know, spits through her spores, her pores, I believe. But she made these chunky embellishments for Halloween. So, so cute. So I thought I would try to make some for Christmas. And I had, um, I was looking through my Christmas stuff. As I mentioned before, I'm packing my things, you know, getting ready for this crop. And I had a pack of these chipboard pieces. They are by Simple Stories, the classic Christmas collection. And they are chipboard stickers. So I had a lot, right? This was, um, maybe had three on it, but then the other pack was full. And I couldn't find a paper pad that I had to um, to go with that. So I just kind of pulled out uh, my six by six paper pads and figured out which one would, you know, go best with it. And I can't tell you um, which collection I used. I think I ended up using some papers, some loose papers that were gifted to me in a tin by Louisa. Louisa had given me a bunch of um, six by six papers, and then these kind of went with the uh, TN, maybe for mounting pictures, and they just didn't go with the um, color palette. So, so I used a couple of sheets that she had given me, and I got my circle dies out, and I it, I just it just dawned on me today that I have two types of circle dies. I have this pack from Dynamic. This is the double stitched. And then I have, I think from Gina Desi Designs, I have another set. This is the stitch. So that's the dash and this is the stitches. So anyway, I uh, started cutting out some circles. I had watched Lilia's channel and kind of got an idea on how she did it. And I started out with uh, this one here. Now, this one is the chunkiest one. It does have the um, corrugated piece inside. You can see it right there. And I just kind of went for it. I did some layering. I even used a couple of these die cuts that I told you guys that I had forever from Michaels. You know, the colors are kind of the same as this um, chipboard pieces. So I used a few of those. I used uh, some of my thread. I picked my thread up from um, Stampin' Up, uh, my damp Stampin' Up demonstrator. Um, I bought these from her a long time ago, so I'm just starting to pull them out. I do have them in red and green as well, but this is um, a fine, fine gold and silver. So I coupled those in there. Um, I use some of these crepe paper roll sets that I purchased from a seller on Instagram. She made me a Halloween pack, and this is the Christmas pack. It has the four colors. The Halloween had the purple, green, orange, and black. So I'm thinking about reaching out to her again because I cannot make ro uh, those roll sets to save my life. So anyway, so here is my Christmas chunky embellishment. I'm just determining, kind of thinking to myself, um, what would I use it for? If it was gifted to me, how would I use this? So I don't know, this can go on a um, package, a box. It could go on a layout, kind of whatever you choose to do. So it's really cute. It's such a cute idea. Thank you so much, Lilia, for um, showing us how that's done. And then here's my second one. And like I said, these chipboard pieces is what inspired me to do this. I just felt that I wanted to use them. I am in that mode right now. What else do I have? Have I had here in this craft room that I've had forever that I could not sell in a D stash? How can I use it? So I'm glad that I was able to put these to use. Now, so you can see the piece there. So um, I continued to make some. And then I didn't use the corrugated piece. And I almost think I like it better without that piece. So here is one. It's a lot flatter, as you can see. I just used the dimensional stickers, these here. And I think that's what I like. I like about that much height. So the same thing, the, cord, the um, chipboard pieces. Um, I use this puffy sticker here. Um, 
I had a page, a page of them. I don't, I think they're Jolie's. I'm not sure. I've been using those. Um, and again, some of the um, die cuts from my shopping cart over there. I like how this one look. And then my fourth one seems to be even sh shorter. You can barely see the layers. And I think I really like, I think I hit it home. This is the height that I like. These beautiful flowers were gifted to me a long, long time ago. They are from Jolie's as well. They're called holiday stickers. I want to say Tammy gave them to me only because when I pulled this out, it said Tammy 2017, and it had a bunch of these clear uh, vellum stickers. So I'm thinking these were something that she may have given me too. Really pretty. They are fabric um, um, bows, and that's how that one looked. Um, this one is lacking the um, gold thread because I totally forgot, but I put a sticker here, happy sticker on the uh, coffee cup, which I thought was ingenious of me to do. So that's the fourth one. So I thought we would together make the fifth one. So I have it all together here. So I, my glue gun is ready. I'm going to move my water bottle over and we're going to get to um, creating this one. So here's the base. It's this busy page um, that I cut out and then I also cut out um, 110 pound uh, chip um, paper just to give it some weight to it so my next layer will be this piece here of the die cut from my shopping cart that's what we're going to call it and peel this part off I kind of like these. Like I said, they could be toppers on a con on a container. I'm just kind of thinking the use um, that I could um, give to these. So now I'm going to go ahead and just center that there. Okay, then my next will be the gold uh, crepe paper rosette. And I also have a sticky on that. So if you haven't visited her channel, it's Crafting with Lil, Lil, Lilier. I'm so sorry. Okay, we're going to put that one right there like so. And then I have just a regular schmegular uh, banner. And that's going to go like that. And I'm not going to pop that up. So let's just get some. I've been loving my mono adhesive. Uh, multi liquid glue but I'm running out and I've had this forever and never used it and now I can't get enough of it and I'm running out of it so I'm just gonna lay that down like this give the hot glue a minute to set up and I told you girls and guys that I'm on vacation this week I'm so happy I am. I'm so happy. Anyway. Okay, next I have another. This is a black snowflake die cut. And let me see. I think before um boom 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 boom. I think I'm going to lay down some thread. So I'm going to put um do I want to do that? That's going to go like that. Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, I think I'm going to lay a piece like this. Peel it off and then do my thread. And the thing with the thread is you just kind of wrap it around your hand. If you can see it, I can barely see this. I'm going to kind of have my um, fingers opened so I can get enough... Um, volume because I want it to travel so you'll able to see it on the outside okay break that like that then what I do is I like to take it off find a center and then kind of spread it out as much as I can then once I stick it on the tape here then I'm able to play with it some more I just kind of spread as I go Like so, just kind of 
spread it out. There we go. Now we're going to put the snowflake on. So I'm going to take the stickies off of this. Okay, and then, sorry. I'm gonna lay it right there, kind of making sure it's centered. That one is really popped up, but it's okay. It's not that, that dimensional, so. Okay, and then we're ready for the last piece. So the last piece, I have one of these poinsettias. And these are from Hobby Lobby, right? They were in my Christmas box. And then the puffy sticker, I showed you that. Just, I think that's a Jolie's. And then this to-do, I just kind of got creative. This was from Recollections. It was a um, sticky notes. To-do and check it twice. So what I did was I just took my... Um, little, what do you call it? The little barbecue skewer. Hmm. Let's see, where did it go? This little thing right here. And I just rolled it on this and then I uh, glued it closed and then I just used a green string to tie it. So it's like a to-do list that is rolled up. So I'm just gonna put that right there and I think I'm gonna use, um, I think I'll use a pop dot, a, a dimensional sticker right here. Thing with these, you could just pull the exact amount you want off and just stick them on there. I have my craft window open so I'm able to watch who's dumping trash in the dumpster and who's dumping mattresses in the dumpster. We have issues in my town home, my complex here, where you wake up in the morning and there's a barbecue grill in the trash. I'm just like amazed. Okay, so now my final, actually I'm gonna put some hot glue on this just to make sure it stays. And we're gonna layer that, and make sure that it is centered. There we go. And that completes it. What a great idea. Lilia, thank you so much for this genius idea. Oh, but I'm not finished yet. <laughs> okay, so I have a couple of chipboard pieces that I want to incorporate into my embellishment. I have a house, I have a Merry and Bright, and I have a coffee cup. So this has been challenging because I, I play with it first to see where is it going to look the best at before I put it down. Actually, I like the coffee cup on this side. I don't know why. Okay, so first let's go with the house. These have, I think, papers you can peel off, but I'm not going to peel it off. I'm just going to put a little wedgie of hot glue at the bottom. And then I'm going to just kind of put it in there like that. done and then my coffee cup do I have another sticker I wonder how the car would look I don't think a car and a coffee cup is appealing huh I don't have another sticker with me in my immediate area so let me see what is over in Louisa's Chinese takeout box that maybe I could use Oh, da da! Uh, candy cane. Is that just not perfect? Because that's what should go into this cup, don't you think? So let's see. If I put her here, then the candy cane will go here. Okay, we're not going to play around with this. So we're just going to. This is what I do. Sometimes I find. When you think long, you think wrong. So your best bet is to just do. Okay, let me let that set up. In the meantime, let me figure out where, and I'm so sorry. You know, I got this camera, so I'm still trying to figure out where I am. My friend at work told me, make sure that my yellow line, my mat is straight. So I'm trying to look at all of that. So I think Mary and Bright will go here. So I'm going to... Put some glue like this. 
and get it over here like so. I'm trying to be mindful to keep things uh, together versus being spaced apart. You know, there's levels to this creativity. <laughs> and then my coffee cup. Okay, so my coffee cup is going to go right there. Look at that. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to cut glue and then we're going to put this. Just like so. Of course, it's on my finger. Just trying to make sure it doesn't show on the back, which it doesn't. There we go. Okay, I think I'm done. That candy cane was perfect. So that was my little tutorial to show you guys how my Christmas embellishments came out. And um, as soon as I'm able to use these, the best way I think... Uh, for me to share with my uh, friends, I will definitely let you know whether they're going to go on top of something, whether I'm just going to package them up and then let them decide what to do. Probably be best and I don't have to rack my brain anymore. Um, but I definitely will will be making some more. For instance, I had this bow bunny pack here. It was $1.99 from Tuesday morning. Christmas in the Village Layered Chipboard. First of all, I love that. So I'm thinking that could be a nice base, right? Because I just love all this. But the stickers, there's just a few left. And I think this would make a beautiful ornament. I could see that being right on the front. That could be on the side. And you have this, this um, bulb. And then you have these two here. So that will definitely be a, another uh, Christmas ornament. So thank you guys for watching again. Lilier, thank you so much for the inspiration. I just fell in love with these. At first, I was a little discouraged. I know now that I prefer not to use the topper. I think um, mine, a little shorter, works best for me in, in the aesthetic of it. So again, thank you guys for watching. Until my next video, take care. Bye now.